taking on the role of sous chef. Good morning, you guys. This is so exciting. A rainy, cold winter day is perfectly paired with noodle soup. And I am so excited to introduce everyone to the great Ken Albala, professor over at Stockton University of the Pacific, uh, also author and um, podcast his entire course right there. You can uh, get it wherever you listen to your podcast. This is exciting. So, Ken, you became a little obsessed with noodles. You, you made noodles for how many days straight? A thousand days. <laughs> a thousand. So, yeah, the, the obsession, he's got that one nailed. Absolutely. <laughs> noodles, soup, noodle soup, recipes, techniques, obsession. You can get it on Amazon. So, this morning, we are working on pulled noodles, and it's as simple as four ingredients. Yep, basically. I'm just going to dump some flour in here. Okay. And if you put your hands in there. Okay, I can do that. I'm not measuring, obviously. I'm in. I'm ready to go. Add a little salt. Some salt and some wheat gluten, which you can buy in any supermarket. Okay, wheat gluten. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> okay. and, and then add a little bit of water in. I'm just going to keep adding water. And you would work this for about a half an hour. Okay. You really seriously need. You're doing great. Until you have a really wet dough and keep adding water to it. Just keep, I need a little more water. I need a little more. <laughs> yeah, it's super messy, isn't it? Uh, so after you get this nice and um, kneaded out, so 30 minutes, you're going to need to let it rest on your counter for about six hours. So that's the, that's the trick. Four ingredients, right. but you need six hours. And I'm sure you've seen like Chinese pulled noodles where they do a whole huge skein of at once and twist it around and yes, dance with yes. it and jump with it. This is the same noodle basically, but much easier. So you don't have to have any dexterity or twisting skills or anything like that. Okay, so magic of TV. Oh, my fingers are a little dirty. We'll swing no over here and take a look. These this are the actual noodles that are completed. And I think we, we can... can get this pretty long. Okay, <laughs> you see okay. how far wow. this is going? Okay, okay. Wow. okay. I got awesome. it. No, no, okay, oh, no. Toss that in. Throw that in the pot. We've got our boiling water. We're ready to go. Okay, you want to pull again? Yeah. yeah. Can we do it two handed? You can. Okay, here you go. Uh, <laughs> so we get, and this is a great fun activity oh. to do with the kiddos. This is Absolutely. hilarious. Okay. Okay. By the way, can I just mention that um, Ken's son is in Guys and Dolls right now. Oh, I love that movie. They're performing all this week in case you want to check out Guys and Dolls. Fabulous. Awesome. In New York for college next year. Congratulations oh. to Benji. Yes. Okay, so as we continue pulling, we want to point out this little friend down on the counter here because you learned something really interesting when you were visiting Japan, and I want to show this to everyone before we run out of time. What is this thing that we're looking at this here? This is a skipjack tuna. It's called katsuobushi, and it's basically the um, filet of that fish that is um, cooked and then smoked and then dried and then mold grows on it. This is Aspergillus glaucus. Um, and I was doing this at home, not doing it the traditional way, but I went to Japan and learned how to do it. So the one sitting here is the one from Japan where I learned how to do it. And this is the one that I made from a slightly smaller bonito. So oh. it's pretty much the same. So when you get miso soup, when you have bonito flakes, here is the bonito and you actually just... Yeah, seaweed in this goes, this gets grated okay. on this machine. I'll show you how that's yeah, done. Yeah, show us this guy here. This is called the kezuriki. And basically it. you're going like this. How cool! And so then these flakes get added into the soup. Like once the whole thing's done, oh, take a look! There's the the final little, the little bonito flakes, yeah. fresh. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I, I confirm. It is a, that's delicious. That's lovely. Like smoky and, smoky milky, and yeah, nice and beautiful. personality. So um, we're gonna keep working on our soup because right. it is still raining outside. My gosh, the drive here to Stockton, mm -hmm. that was crazy. But um, yeah, I'll leave you with the image of his fabulous new book. Uh, number 25 for this guy. Way to go, Ken. Back to you guys. Wow, impressive. That was so fun. Thanks, Bethany. <laughs> Hey, dress to impress for this weekend's Academy Awards. Yes, coming up, how you can get ready for the red carpet without breaking the bank. Mm -hmm. Also, don't let flu season keep you from having fun. Still to come, we've got some exciting activities that you can do from your home to beat cabin fever. Coming up.